Hi, today we're going to talk about backing apparatus. Uh, we're going to cover a few topics, including the importance of backing safely, um, some hand gestures to use when backing apparatus, and things to do when you're having to back apparatus along without a spotter. Um, as a lot of you know, in our department, we've had a lot of accidents um, while backing the apparatus, and a lot of these accidents have been avoidable. Um, and a few of them have been without a spotter. And, you know, we want to try to, you know, avoid these instances when all possible. You know, not only is it for our safety, but as far as in our department's best interest, um, it cuts down on costs, saves us money, you know, in replacing our apparatus. A couple of things we want to talk about when backing apparatus is communication between the driver and the spotter. At all times, the driver and the spotter must maintain visual contact with one another. If a situation occurs when the driver is becoming out of contact with that spotter, he must stop immediately. Um, this ensures that you know everything is done safely, that there is clear communication with the hand signals with the spotter and the driver, and that the spotter is able to uh, visualize any hazards or anything that may come in contact with the apparatus. If you consult your aerial apparatus handbook, which should be found in most of the stations, you'll see six main hand signals they prefer to use when backing apparatus. Um, the first of which will be forward, which is demonstrated like this. This is to go forward. Second is backwards. This will be backwards. Not, none of this, none of this, it is this, two hands up, this is backwards. Now, to have the driver operator turn left, this is the proper signal. Turn right, this is the proper signal. Slow down, both hands extended, up and down motion like this, and this is the stop. Now I want to talk about backing the apparatus without a spotter. Um, Many times we can find ourselves in these situations, whether a volunteer responding alone, um, whether we're positioning apparatus uh, to back into driveways, um, on emergency scenes, or if you find yourself in a situation where you're you know, out and about and you just cannot avoid it. If you are to back without a spotter, uh, you are to get out the apparatus and do a complete 360. Try to visualize you know, where you're going to go, uh, what the the area you are backing into consists of, the soil type if, if available, um, any hazards you may see, um, and anything of that nature. One thing that you could do, use to your advantage, are safety cones if you have them. Um, you can find a spot in which you're going to back, you can place a safety cone in certain you know, areas, you can back to that area, and then reposition if need be. Um, there are just a few things you could do to ensure backing safely.